Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini Mighty Gromaid. It's an Eve about 51 where we have returned to Imola for round 3 of the 2026 Formula 1 season. What has this weekend got in store for us then? This is the grid ahead of the Grand Prix. It's George Russell on pole with a great lap from Alex Albon in the Williams to be on the front row with him. Then it's Verstappen and Charles Leclerc, Piastri and Lando Norris, Hamilton and us. Gasly and Sainz right out of the top 10 then it's Butcher and Joe Lawson and Fitter Powdy Bottas and Dennis Helger Sargent and Kevin Magnussen Ocon and Lance Stroll and then the final row of the grid is Nick DeFries and Yuki Tsunoda. So we're here on the grid then ahead of the Grand Prix here at Imola the first time since 2022 and there is rain predicted for the middle part of this Grand Prix we're going to be starting on the mediums, going to the hards, or whenever the rain comes. But our qualifying wasn't particularly good. You can see our qualifying lap here, only good enough for P8. So, if we want to keep up this winning run, back-to-back -back wins so far this season, we're going to have to put in a shift in this race to get us back to the front. And along with this track, it's not that easy to overtake it, is it? But let's see what happens then. It's the Grand Prix at Emila. The lights are out and we are racing here in Emila. We've got a good start with Paris Lewis Hamilton. The side by side of our teammate. We nearly touch. Going into turn one. Bit of wheel banging now as we go to the outside of our teammate. We touch the grass. We go over the curb. But we're ahead of Hamilton and our teammate. It's a great start by Alex Albon. He leads in his Williams. George has had a shocker, we're now right behind him, as we think about it, up the inside, we're just a little bit too far back to do anything there, and Max Verstappen is challenging, Albon as we send it and lay it up the inside of George Russell, this was George Russell's start, and he's got absolutely nowhere, he's just been mugged by four cars there, and nearly the McLaren does Lando get him, Lando goes for the dive bomb, Round the outside, great move on his part, getting George and the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. But now it is game on as George is coming back at us on lap two. We hold it around the outside, keeping behind on lap two. And now we're focusing on just getting forward. So as we skip on further around now, the lap on lap two, we're all over the back of Charles Leclerc as we're looking to go forward we pull to the outside of Leclerc we're gonna go around the outside of Leclerc we just keep on the track take a lot of the curb but we're past the Ferrari and in the back right now he's falling right into the back of George Russell he's going around the outside of that time one Piastri tried to get the inside line but couldn't but George is past the Ferrari and now Piastri's having another go they're side by side is Piastri brave enough no he's not he backs out of that one but now we are flying on these medium tyres lap four we're all over the back now of Lando Norris down the inside we go of Lando Norris up into the podium places Albon's been overtaken by Max Verstappen and now we're riding up the tie driver as we get closer and closer with the DRS we're going to get in before we even get to the first corner we can go to the outside we're going to hold it late round the outside Albon has to back out of it he pinches himself right to the inside and now it's just like it was in the last race here at Miami we're once again hunting down Max Verstappen he had a great battle on the opening lap in Miami there as the rain begins to fall on lap 7 of the Grand Prix as we were just biding our time slowly eating away at Max Verstappen's lead and on lap 8 we're on the back now of the Red Bull we're gonna get closer and closer as we go down the pit straight we're gonna go late up the inside into the first corner and it's job done on Max Verstappen and it's taken us nine laps but we've gone from P8 to P1 as we run a bit wide there we run a bit wide Max though is too far back to do anything as it is very slippy now it's like it was last time out in Miami in terms of the rain not really being wet enough for the Inters as Max really got our inside there we fend him off for now 
There's no, this is Charles Leclerc at one of Ferrari's home Grand Prix for this season. He's slowing down and he's pulling off and out of the Grand Prix here at Imola. It's all gone wrong for one Ferrari. And on home soil, that's not what they wanted. But Max now very much sticking with us. We couldn't really pull away like we could earlier on to those behind because Max has happened now is alongside us and Max has happened now is right back in front of us as we go down towards turn one we're just too far back to do anything there and Max retakes the lead of the Imola Grand Prix as now you can see you can see the track now it is getting wetter and wetter we're on the verge of intermediate tyres lap 13 though we were nursing the gap once again to close it up, down and we're past the red bull once more but we run wide the stopping is back up the inside of us we try and hold it to the outside there's nearly contact max gives us the squeeze we're going to give him the squeeze back we nearly put him on the gravel it's now coming out of that corner we are just trying to find any sort of grip it is definitely now time for the intermediate tires and that's what we're going to do the end of the lap we box for intermediate tires the race started around lap seven and it's taken six laps before it's time max follows us in now can we find some time on the second and pull away as we go on to the inters it's not a very quick stop 2.6 is not too bad we beat out max for stopping now though is everyone boxing or are they going to break it out and go a couple of extra laps some of those behind as we come out of the pits now and we're in p3 but we're in a net p1 and the house of nick de freeze has come out ahead of Max Verstappen and that's really given us some pace he boxed and we had unbelievable pace on these intermediate tyres we pull in away lap after lap to Max Verstappen you can see the gap here he was all over the back of us when we was on the drives but we are just slowly managing our pace and pulling away you can see the gap now nearly up to 10 seconds as we get on to lap 30 of 32 and the rain is beginning to stop here and you can see the DRS is back enabled and we're not that far away from going back onto dry tyres and if the gap was any bigger to those behind I may think about that but the final lap the track's dry it's ready for the dry tyres again but there's no point now because it's the end of the race and it's been a great race for us dominant race we had to get the elbows out we had to get aggressive but ultimately we win once again this season performance on track today a well-deserved victory Anthony Davidson a resounding victory today what set them apart from the rest but well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track I think their ability to keep their cool even during some of the more hectic parts of the race meant they were able to capitalize on the mistakes of other drivers giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease Here comes your top three, making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day for Formula One.
So as Mark said, that's three wins this season, winning every Grand Prix. That is also winning six of the last seven Grand Prix. Going back to last season, the only race in the last seven Grand Prix we haven't won was back in Abu Dhabi, the title decider when we finished fourth. But back to the present day, what a race for us. We really had to go aggressive, get the elbows out. We had another great battle with Max Verstappen. The car was amazing on those inters. We just had so much pace on those intermediate tyres to pull away from Max Verstappen and go on to win. Max finishes P2, George finishes P3, so it's a double British podium. Lando P4, Alex Albon unfortunately tried his hardest from P2 from briefly with it leading the race has dropped to p7 but considering how bad that williams is especially in the first couple of races that's a hell of a drive for alex albon one retirement then being charles leclerc poor day for ferrari at their first home grand prix of the season we go to monza later on in terms of the world championship now and we have a 41 point lead over max verstappen in p2 then it is george russell p3 looking for his first world championship after that we've denied him the past two years in a row. CP3 is P6 and there is quite a few drivers still yet to score this season. In terms of the constructors and we continue to lead the constructors world championship we now have a 45 point lead over Mercedes who are looking to make it now 13 constructors world titles. Red Bull P2 then it's Ferrari. Alpine really kind of dropped off there's only one team still yet to score in Haas but that's been the Grand Prix here at Imola I hope you enjoyed it we go to Monaco next the Principality I will see you then goodbye